Hello. And this video, we are going to talk about. No, I'm just kidding. We are going to talk about the back strip of Eclipse Town, which is basically we're talking about all the hiding spots in this region. Now, this strip is probably the most important one of all because, well, obviously, the hider spawn is like right here. So many times you're gonna find hiders hiding over here. Right? We all know that hiders like to hide close to where they spawn. So basically, we're gonna go over all the different hiding spots in the back strip of the map, right? all along this horizontal strip. But we're gonna start at this um, building right here. So we're gonna start from here and work our way towards the opposite end, right? So we're gonna start with, um, we'll start with actually like the corner right here, right? With these furnaces and cakes. As for the furnaces, basically there's this hole right here. You should just memorize that if you see a hider in this hole, then it's fake, right? If you see three in a row like this, that would also be fake. You see it squared off right here, right? Notice it says square, right? Squared off, that would be fake. As for the cakes, there should only be a total of four cakes. So as there's four cakes, right? If you ever see five cakes and it's fake, sometimes there's a cake hiding here. It's a little bit more difficult to see. So just memorize that. That's basically it for this stack. As for the bookshelves, right? There's this hole right here, right? You should memorize that if there's a bookshelf in this hole, then it's fake. Right? Also, if you ever see four bookshelves in a row behind the stack like this, or like this, then that would be fake. Some other things you might see is, well, you might sometimes see two in a row on the side of the stack like this. Right again, two in a row on the side of the stack, that would be fake. And also again, two in a row on the side of the stack, that would be fake. The other thing to notice is that there's a total of four bookshelves on the top of the stack. So if you see five bookshelves on top of the stack, for instance, like this, or if a bookshelf with that goes way too high up like this, then that would be fake. That's pretty much it for the bookshelves, right? Heading over here, we have some cakes and cauldrons. Basically, just a total of four cakes. That makes it pretty easy. As for the cauldrons, also pretty easy. I always say pretty easy, right? I like saying that. Basically, if you see a cauldron right here, notice it's like it's all grouped together, right? This is all grouped together. Right? Notice none of the cauldrons really grouped together. They sort of just form like a connector piece, right? Connector. But like, like if you see a cauldron right here, it's all it looks all clustered together, and so that's how you know this would be a fake cauldron. Right, some other things, like sometimes you'll see like a cal cauldron right next to the cakes, like this. And that's basically it for the cauldron, so I'm not super difficult to memorize, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. Right, heading over here, we do have some more cauldrons, right? And there is actually a whole lot of cauldron hiding. So if you see a cauldron in this hole, it's fake. Right, and the other typical thing you'll see is like a cauldron behind the stack, like over here. So basically it for the cauldrons here. As for these flower pots, just memorize that there's a total of five flower pots. So five flower pots, pretty easy. As for these TNTs, um, pretty easy. Okay, I keep saying that. I'm just joking, obviously, but still. If you see four TNTs in a row, this is probably the most common one. So just memorize that. So if you see four in a row like that, it's fake. We do see two, two TNTs in a row in front of the stack. That's also fake. Sometimes you see a square of TNT like this. Right? And sometimes you'll even see like a TNT right here. So something like that. Basically, that would be fake. That's pretty much it for the TNT. Another thing is that over here we have some flower pots. Um, it turns out you don't even have to worry about the flower pots that currently exist here because typically you're going to find hiders on top of it. Basically, I guess what you should memorize is that if you see three flower pots and we're like this, then it's fake. Sometimes you'll see a flower pot go right here, but as we can already predict, it's not going to become solid. So that's pretty easy if you see something like that. Right, so that's pretty much it for the flower pots. Over here we have, well, the furn some furnaces. If you see a furnace in this hole right here, then that would be fake. Right? That's pretty easy. Um, that's pretty much it, by the way. Going over here, we have some anvils and, you know, hay bales, bookshelves. We have a lot more going on here. Let's break it up part by part. For the anvils, it turns out the anvil stack is actually symmetrical, right? If you literally look at it this way, the anvil stack is symmetrical, right? The thing you really got to notice is if it's not symmetrical, for instance, like this, if the anvil stack is no longer symmetrical, so it's fake. Same thing if you see an anvil on the other side as well, right? It's no longer symmetrical, so that makes it fake. Another 
another thing that makes it asymmetrical, right? I like that word, asymmetrical, is if you see like a three anvils in a row like that, or three anvils in a row like that, that would also make it a fake anvil. Right, the other thing is that, right, right, you could still have hiding spots where, like, the anvil stack is technically still symmetrical, but you have to be able to realize that this would be a fake anvil. So if you see like a staircase of anvils that's fake, right, or a staircase of anvils like that, in front of the stack, that would also be fake. You should also never see a square of anvils on top of the stack, for instance, like this, or an anvil like this, right, that would also be fake. Right, and also you even sometimes see an anvil that goes way too high up like this. And so that would be fake. For these hay bales, right, most important spot to know about is this hole right here. So sometimes you'll find a hay bale in this hole, sometimes even flower pots here, right? So you should know that that would be fake. There's also a slot right here that a hay bale can hide, right? or a hole right here. Those are the spots I would focus on for the hay bales. As for the cakes, Notice it's like we have the fish structure, right? We all love the fish structure, right? This is the fish structure of the cakes. So if you see like a cake at the center of the fish like that, then that would be fake. Sometimes you'll even see the bow tie, right? We all love the bow tie, that would be fake. And also you'll sometimes see the sludge hammer, right? This would be a fake cake as well. So you just sort of have to memorize that for the cakes. Okay, so continuing going, we have um, these bookshelves now. Turns out that these bookshelves also form the fish structure, right? This is why we all love the fish structure, because it appears everywhere. So the fish structure, right, it appears with the bookshelves, right? Another thing you should be familiar with is if you see like a bookshelf right here, this would be a hole, right? A bookshelf in this hole would be fake, right? If you see a bookshelf right here as well, like this would be fake. So just memorize that. If you see it cubed off right here, that would be fake, right? And again, two in a row. Right, just like we just saw before, like this would be fake. You even sometimes see flower pots in this hole, right? Because there's a group of flower pots here. But overall, there should only be two flower pots with the bookshelf stack. So you just sort of memorize that. It's pretty easy, right? I keep saying it's pretty easy, so I keep saying it. It's so good. As for this table, it's just a total of two flower pots. So if you see three flower pots like this, then it's fake. Sometimes you even see cakes on this table, so. If you ever see three things on the table, then it's fake. Now, basically, we've gone over all this stuff. But as for this TNT stack, it's actually really easy because there's nothing behind it, right? This is the common structure that we saw in the museum, right? You just gotta memorize this, right? Any deviation from this common structure, like two in a row, two on top of each other, right? You see a rectangle, right? That would be fake. Or if you see a staircase of TNTs, that would also be fake. So something like that, any deviation from this common structure, this would be fake. Now we basically have made it more than halfway through, right? As for this stuff, we got a table right here, right? This table only has one missing piece. So if you see it higher on top of it, then that would be fake. Basically you have two flower pots here and two flower pots here. So just think of it as pairs, right? You have a pair here and a pair on the tree. So just memorize that, right? If you ever see three, like for instance, like this, then that would be fake. Because really it should only be two on the tree, not three. But if you see three flower pots here, that would be fake. Because you only should see two here, not three. Right, going over here, we have these hay bales, right? Basically just a total of three hay bales. So if you see four hay bales, for instance, like this, or if you see a square of hay bales like this, then that would be fake. Pretty easy for the hay bales, just a total of three of them. Now going up this ladder, we do have this upstairs area, right? Sort of like the balcony. I don't know what it is, but. Sort of like a tree house, actually, now that I think about it. I don't even know. Basically, there's a total of three flower pots and four anvils. So basically, you can see three flower pots and four anvils. You just gotta memorize those numbers, three and four, for fun, right? So three flower pots, four anvils. So if you ever see four flower pots, for instance, like this, it would be fake. If you ever see five anvils, right, for instance, like this, or I guess usually it would be like this. Like this, or maybe like this. That would be a fake anvil. That's basically it for that stuff. Notice that hiders can actually get on top of this wool. So you should be familiar with the fact that hiders can get on top of this wool. Right? Usually they come from the buildings though, but as you can see, I got on top of this wool by coming from the treehouse, right? I went here onto here. That's basically it for this area, right? So now we're basically continuing going, right? 
with this um stuff right here we have basically anvils cakes and furnaces for the anvils again just like the anvil sack at the center over there this anvil sack is also symmetrical so really like if you see it it's no longer symmetrical for instance like this if we have like two anvils on top of the sack then that would be big so you get two anvils on top of the sack would be big that's pretty much it for the anvil sack as for the cakes just a total of, whoops it's just a total of four cakes so if you ever see five cakes like for instance like this that would be fake and for the furnaces it's similar to that common structure right you see it's similar to the common structure but it's not exactly because you have a furnace behind it it's sort of similar to the common structure that we usually see like what we saw for the tnts but the thing is that um we have a furnace on either side of it I guess that brings me back to the TNT stack because it turns out that if you have like a TNT on the other side, like notice the TNT stack is now symmetrical, this would actually be a fake TNT. So you should be familiar with that as well. But as for the furnaces, um, not really a big deal because you do have a furnace on both sides. I guess what you're typically looking for, again, looking at it from this point of view, this is actually the common structure. So if you ever see any deviation from it, for instance, two in a row, two on top of each other, or like the square furnace is on top, Furnace goes too high up, right? That would be fake. Right? That's basically it for this area right here. Over here, we have some other stuff underneath this purple tent. As for the cakes, again, we see four cakes, right? Just how, just like how we saw four cakes over here, we also see four cakes over here. Not including the cake on top of the hay bales, right? We have four cakes on the ground. So if you ever see five cakes, for instance, like this, then that would be fake. As for these hay bales, basically, it's sort of similar to the hay bale that we saw on the left strip, right? Notice how we have a complete cube of hay bales here. Here, this is actually missing a hay bale, right, to form a complete cube. So if you see a hay bale right here, it forms a complete cube, and so that's how you know it's fake. Here, we're actually missing two hay bales, right? If these two hay bale spots were filled, we would get a complete cube. So it's mis missing two pieces. So if you see a hay bale right here, or a hay bale right here, then it would be fake. You'll even sometimes see flower pots behind these hay bales, so like especially flower pots behind this hay bale stack, that would also be big. So you should just be familiar with that. And as for these cauldrons, basically you just have three in a row. You have three groups of three in a row cauldrons. So if you ever see, for instance, four in a row, that would be big. Or like sometimes you'll even see cauldrons behind the cauldron rows, like for instance, a cauldron behind this one is fake, a cauldron behind this one is fake. That's basically all you have to memorize. And so that is pretty much it for the backstrip of the map.